What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone and today's topic will be how to get uh, all issues from a specific user means suppose um, uh, suppose there is an user and there probably um, 10 or 15 issues are already assigned to that user now you want to actually write a script uh, which will take the username as a parameter and it will return all the issues mm -hmm. that which user is right now uh, working or maybe something is assigned right so suppose there is an user called John and you want to write a script which will give you all the issues assigned to John okay so maybe uh, this is going to be more or less same code whatever mm -hmm. code I used in the last tutorial in tutorial 16 only there is a, a small change in the JQL okay so let's see how we can actually do it okay so without wasting further time let me first open my browser so basically uh, this is my URL and this is my uh, this thing uh, this thing so basically if you remember uh, we have a Jira account created with this name so this is my home page and if you see there are multiple things are there like I have multiple uh, like issues are there and this user this three issues are actually assigned on my name and they're probably uh, something else for example uh, uh, just hold on let me check you if I go to the boards and this is a project AOT board and there are various uh, like issues are actually created on this board so let's hold on let me check okay so what is that thing project page okay automation home this is the project okay and uh, inside the project maybe if i just go view all dashboard let's say this is a default dashboard and inside the project we have this project i have created uh, plan and start printing issues here so go to backlog okay so if you see there are lots of issues are created inside a backlog okay and out of that if i just go here only three issues are actually assigned on my name and my name is actually this one so i want to check uh, how many issues are actually assigned on my name okay so for that first thing we need to create something called an api key so maybe if i just click here okay let's say here and if i go to security and if I create and manage API token so I have multiple tokens created but I just want to show you guys how to do it so we have to go to this link and create an API token and maybe I just give a name let's say 2023 okay an API token created so let's copy this thing and I'll be going to use this token for coding purpose okay so let's start writing our code okay so same thing I'll be going to use so uh, this is uh, my new laptop uh, uh, so just hold on so basically uh, maybe some some modules may be missing okay so let's start writing the code okay so first thing we need to import import we need to import request and let's see whether it is already imported or not yes no error so it import and JSON okay these are the two modules I'll be going to use okay that's it no error right so now start writing our code so first thing first so I'll be going to use base URL so there will be an URL so my URL will be uh, something like the, uh, this this okay so probably we'll go here and I'll be going to copy this thing okay and I'll be I'm actually using API version 3 so maybe and then we have to write rest right then api then three and the api name is actually search api i'm using search endpoints okay 
so this is my base url right so let's see what else we can do actually and then we'll be going to use something called user and password right user is actually my username for connecting to this api so it is going to be the total technology at the red gmail.com and password is actually the token just now i got it from here so what i do i'll again copy this thing and again i'll paste this thing here okay don't uh, worry i'll change this thing after some time okay okay so now what will happen we'll be going to write the actual code okay so my project key is actually going to be aut but that project key is actually not going to be used we'll be just going to pass the header and we'll be just going to call this url with an jql okay so let's write the header first headers and headers actually going to be a dictionary okay right and it will accept application json type okay so it should be something like this application slash json okay and then like this and here we'll be going to write content right content is also application json right so next thing we'll be going to call this thing right but before that we'll be going to form an url the api url right so basically this is not the api url api url is this one this is maybe kind of a finalized url so i'll be just going to use a f string so like this or maybe like this and this so here it will be base url right and then after base url what will happen here uh, after search uh, basically we have to have a question mark right so basically we are going to put a question mark like this and then we'll be going to put jql equals to right and it will be a s s i g n assign e equals to and we'll be going to write something like this okay r o n i d a s so basically like this this is my entire url right now what will happen we'll be going to just write something called response equals to request dot get and then api url then headers equals to headers then auth equals to user comma p w d okay right now what will happen print response dot json right so let's see what it is going to return okay okay so it, it is returning something okay so basically i believe uh, let's scroll up little bit okay so maybe this is a dictionary so maybe i can just simply write json dot keys so this is going to tell me how many keys are there 
so expand start at max result total and issues so basically i will need this issues actually okay so let's see so maybe i need two things how many issues are there so maybe i can just simply write total let's see and then i'll be just going to write this issues total three issues it's fine now i'll be just going to write this one i s s u s so this is not going to give me a list maybe okay so this is not giving me a list right so so what is actually so maybe i can simply write i s s u e s equals to this okay then i can write for issue in issues print issues so basically there will be total three so just to separate this thing just to understand this thing because the code is i'm still building the code okay i'm just using a separator and then i'll use a clear and then i'll be just going to execute okay yes so if i oh it is coming but it is not giving me the entire thing so basically this single thing is also a dictionary right so basically i can simply write something like this right let's see okay so it's an id cell key fields so basically uh, maybe this key is important to me okay so and this field is important to me so maybe i can just simply write issue of key let's see how many things are coming okay so these are the issues assigned to the user right aut 1111111021 something like this and now if i just write issue and fields a f i e l d s let's see what is going to happen okay so single field is coming so basically uh, i can just take this summary right summary has a a little bit information right let's see uh, i believe summary is important yes let's do it with the summary so basically a c u m m a r y and i hopefully i don't need this part okay Mm. Okay, so it seems summary is actually not part of uh, something directly can be done. Okay, so what I'll do? Uh, okay, let's do a trick. Okay, so f i e l d s. Okay, something like this. okay so i got this thing here so basically maybe this summary is maybe part of some thing some sub key okay so let me refine this thing so maybe what i'll do uh maybe this will this will be actually going to have again some keys so maybe i can simply write keys how many keys are there in the fields okay let's see okay so issue link assign update status component yeah description may be important so maybe issue fields and then probably i can just simply write description okay let's see Uh, okay so inside the description if you see description is a dictionary which is actually having a list called content inside the content i need to get this content right okay so this is a little bit tricky to get this description from here 
right let's see what else actually we can get summary is actually here but uh, let's see s u m m a r y s u m m a r y let's see it is written summary is there yeah okay so now it is giving me the correct answer clear right let's see okay so that's it this is my issue number and this is my issue number and this is my issue number and all these things are issue description and if i want to verify this thing here so if i go here see your work created for test created for, for test created for test now suppose i just want to give you a live example maybe i'll be just going to assign this issue now to myself okay so let's see assign to me so hopefully i will get one more issue now so i've just assigned one more issue so see 19 is just now assigned and this is 19 okay so i believe uh, this is going to be a really interesting tutorial because i got so many requests via email and one uh, one of my students reached out to me via whatsapp group that we need to do something for our project could you please help me so i thought of uh, helping him but then i thought actually why not uh, creating a video so that it will help everyone right so that's it guys that's it for today i am going to conclude this tutorial here but before i conclude i would like to request you one couple of things it's a humble request guys please try to subscribe to our channel because uh, subscriber count is very less though you guys are watching uh, commenting sharing our videos but please 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 try to subscribe to our channel hit the bell notification icon so that you should not miss any notification in the future related to any video and please try to share our videos with your family friends whoever you think will get some benefit out of it because we also would like to reach a larger audience base right and last but not least please try to put some honest feedback good or bad doesn't matter but it should be uh, honest feedback so that we will understand what what can be done in a better way what is missing on our video what you guys want to uh, uh, means what exactly you guys are looking for from our channel if you have any specific suggestion or any specific use case please um, comment on the comment box so that we will create some videos out of those use cases and also uh, if you think something is helping you from our videos please try to uh, mention that as well because those sort of indirect appreciation will motivate us big time right so last thing uh, please try to watch this video and try to write your own code by your own if you just watch the video it is not going to help you You have to write the code by your own once you write the code you will gain the confidence and you will try to expand the knowledge because here i'm actually giving you a very limited knowledge the knowledge are actually related to or evolving within this video right but if you practice or if you do your code then probably you will start thinking for something bigger right and that will actually help you to become expert right okay enough of talking guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day